So you'd mentioned on your substack that you, if you did get elected, you would do some of the unpopular changes that need to happen. What are those unpopular changes? Now, the problem we have with politicians at the moment is it's always about short-termism. So what's going to get me elected in two, three, four years' time? In which case, they always pick the easy answers to get elected. What we need is someone to come along and do some of the heavy lifting and not care about their career. I'm not a politician. I'm definitely not a career politician. I want to do the heavy lifting, so I'm going to start looking at some of the complicated problems we have across the country, but obviously specifically Greater Manchester. Let's look at knife crime, for instance, in Greater Manchester. It's becoming more and more of a problem every year. We're actually now beginning to catch up to London, which is something not to be proud of. The way we tackle knife crime is we have a tool that's called Stop and Search. Why don't we use it? Because we're scared to use it, because we're going to be called racist. Now, what I intend to do is increase stop and search in the neighbourhoods that people tell me they want more stop and search. So at every council election, which is almost once a year, we're going to hold a little a mini referendum per council ward. And I'm going to ask the parents of the people who live there and the residents of those areas, do you want more stop and search? Because if you do, we'll give you more stop and search and we'll stop your children dying in pools of their own blood. If you don't want more stop and search, absolutely fine. You won't be punished for that, you'll just get the service you've got now. Let the people decide. I'm tired of politicians and council managers making decisions for you, where you live in your neighbourhood. So there's obviously green issues are a, a big thing at the moment. Are, are some of those are these unpopular decisions as well? What I will be looking at straight away for the green issue is commercial properties. How do we... How do we change planning permission to make it easier to convert them into residential living? We've got dying high streets. In high streets where we had 100 shops, we've only got 20 now that are viable. What do we do with the over 80 buildings? How about flats for single people who then will spend their money in those 20 shops that are still existing? What about brownfield sites? I know it's more expensive to build houses on brownfield sites because of the contamination, the extra work you've got to do. There's many things we can look at. I mean, these are just some ideas. Why don't we let them build on those brownfield sites and then give a discount to the people who buy those properties in the council tax? There's all sorts of ways of looking at this. And then the big one is net zero. I mean, net zero is just lunacy. In Greater Manchester, we have the CAS, the clean air zone, which a couple of days ago, Andy Burnham, who's the current mayor of Greater Manchester, has just said, I'm not implementing this, which is great considering he spent the last two years trying to implement it. Fantastic. He's now seen the light, which is fantastic. So I don't want to criticise him for that U-turn. He's now listening to the people. But you've seen in London with the ULES, people don't want it. People don't understand it. It's making people poorer. It's attacking car use. Now, we all want to live in a clean environment. Of course we do. Who wants pollution? No one. But there's ways of doing this. The net zero challenge we have is stupid, it's lunacy, it's not going to happen. The sooner we realise that, and the sooner politicians are honest and say, we're scrapping this, the better things will become.